My name is Sharima Rasanayagam. I'm the Director of Science at Breast Cancer Prevention Partners. And uh, we thought we'd get online today to talk to you a little bit about safer cleaning products. So first of all, I want to say that we hope that you and your family are all safe and well during this worrying time. Um, we at BCPP are all working from home and observing social isolation. We're juggling looking after our families, homeschooling our kids, and keeping in touch with loved ones virtually while still trying to make time for our mental as well as physical health. And I know all of you are doing the same. So while we are working from home, we, we at BCPP are still working to protect all of us from exposures linked to breast cancer and other health outcomes. And so one of the things we've been asked a lot about is uh, safer cleaning during this time. So we thought we'd uh, do this quick video and answer some questions. And then if we don't cover things that you have questions about, please um, in quote, uh, put them in the comments below and we'll try and answer them. So first question, uh, what can we do to protect our health today? So in this time uh, with COVID-19, it's really important to follow the CDC's and your local health department's advice on staying safe. So we all need to be washing our hands as often as we can and well with soap and water. We all need to observe the social distancing rules that our community has uh, when we're outside our home. And we also need especially to protect vulnerable people including the elderly and especially those with compromised immune systems. And that includes people going through treatment for cancer and after their treatment. So question, another important question we get asked a lot is, is antibacterial soap better than normal soap for regular hand washing? Well, actually washing hands with regular soap and water it has been found to be at least as effective, if not more so, than using some of the antibacterial hand soaps. And there are fewer antibacterial hand soaps on the market these days, uh, but those that are there sometimes contain triclosan and triclocarban, and uh, these are chemicals with hormone-disrupting effects. So it's best just to use uh, regular soap and sing your favorite 20-second song uh, while you clean your hands. So one of the reasons there's fewer uh, antibacterial hand soaps on the market is the work that BCPP and our partners have done to hold companies and the government to account uh, for allowing cancer-causing and hormone-disrupting chemicals in our products. And so it's been a really great success that um, we've been able to get rid of some of these chemicals from our environment and our products. So please consider donating at bcpp.org if you're able to, to help us continue our work to protect everyone. So another question we get is what cleaning products should I use right now? So similar to hand washing, um, simple cleaning products can be used around the home. Um, a good hard scrub with soap or an all purpose cleaner can remove uh, many germs uh, and keep the use of disinfectants to where they are really needed. So try to use um, cleaners that list all of their ingredients on the label, including fragrance ingredients, so you can check for chemicals with health concerns. Um, and to find out what those chemicals are, you can check our red list of chemicals to avoid, which is on our website, bcpp.org, or you can use smartphone apps like Think Dirty and Healthy Living to scan product barcodes, or you can look for the EPA Safer Choice label on products, which identifies products that have been found to be safer for human health and the environment. Um, what about disinfecting? So there are some areas in your house that should be disinfected, especially uh, when you or your loved ones are vulnerable to the disease. So frequently touched surfaces um, should be disinfected if somebody in the house is ill or suspected of being ill. Um, and then surfaces touched by unwashed hands after returning from elsewhere. So doorknobs, uh, things like that, that you might uh, touch before you wash your hands. And for this disinfecting, um, you should try and use safer disinfectants. So active ingredients, um, which are listed uh, below in the comments, such as um, citric acid, hydrogen peroxide, lactic acid, and ethanol or alcohol um, are have been found by the EPA to be safer for health and the environment, and you should try and use products that have those active ingredients. Um, you should use microfiber cloths to, uh, to clean, but if that's not possible, you can use just 
um, normal towels and sponges, uh, but make sure you clean those between each surface if you're disinfecting. Now, I know some people only have access to bleach-based disinfectants right now, and bleach is a pretty toxic chemical, but um, if you only have that available, uh, make sure you use gloves, uh, make sure you have eye protection, and that you ventilate the area well as you clean and follow dilution guidelines on the product. And also, especially with bleach, but with any disinfectant, try not to mix or don't mix different chemicals um, with different active ingredients because sometimes there can be reactions between these chemicals um, that cause um, health effects. And so thank you for your time. I hope this has been helpful. Um, please feel free to post any questions in the comments below. And if you're able, consider a donation to BCPP. Uh, I, at our website bcpp.org or uh, through the link in the comments below to help us keep going uh, protecting our health and environment from exposures linked to breast cancer. So again, thank you and stay well and take care of yourselves.